I would call myself a soft core degenerate. Hey, new friend! Please subscribe and come have fun again! Hey, there we go. Let's see, who was the first person that called Alec? The, this floor. You're first in order of, of the people that didn't say anything specifically, Hexra. So you're getting the floor. You're getting the character. Is this all good? All right. You're gonna have Finn's page for now. Oh yeah, this was the one that got had gotten, uh, that was previously being used by uh, our other friend. All right, so you get, the, you get to inherit this one for the time being. This game, I mean, they're completely different games mechanic-wise, so it's absolutely fair if you prefer the style and such of this game. But yeah, I can totally see where you're coming from, Geddes. It's a lot It's a lot more of a casual pace than Lobotomy Corporation, because obviously it's turn-based. Second strategy, I panic a lot with, as you say, fast-paced stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you want to look up the story of Lobotomy Corporation and you're not too bothered getting in that way and set firsthand, you could probably find videos because I know me, and I'm lost my head. If you really think about this it, turn -based as well. was turn-based as well. There was around 60 turns a second. <sighs> I, I'm not even gonna argue. I feel like there's no point in that argument. Save this current deck. Yeah, this is the thing that I'm getting. I'm pretty sure this is uh, not intended. I sort of like that one better for you. Oh yes, ASMR. better restart that timer. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still doing ASMR and I completely forgot. For you see, I am a well-adjusted individual. Also, shut your forking whore mouths. Stop reminding me I know what I'm doing. Let us continue the story, shall we? Oh, we get to meet the best characters. Nope, not this. That won't do either. Can't seem to find the one that strikes me with inspiration. Hi, Pierre. Hey there, Pierre. Brought you some fresh ones this time. They got bruised a bit too hard, but they're still breathing. What? Is he developing a new dish? Welcome, Jack. Dishes are one thing, but we're running way too short on ingredients these days. Luckily, I have my reliable friend Jack here. I won't have to worry about that for a while. What happened? The musicians of Bremen say they're no longer selling ingredients to us. Those freaks were always unpredictable. What about little piggies, then? Same deal. Stop treating with us. We'll have to do this the old way. You and I together. I'd love to, but we can't go to our usual spot anymore. Yeah. The Spy Association is safeguarding that area now. And we should pioneer new supply chains. While we're at it, I want to be more experimental with new ingredients. I've been only using young ones for far too long. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll miss the pasty hand pies that you make. We'll have to deal with it, unfortunate as it is. Since we've lost several vendors that used to provide quality meat for us, sticking to conventional dishes won't cut it. Our maze will surely notice the drop in the quality of our ingredients. You are aiming to become one of the eight chefs, right, Pierre? That's right. The eight chefs are the brightest of the stars of the city that shine over us. They never fail to present us with stunning and sensational flavors. What kind of new ingredients are you looking for? These ones should be easier to get, but their meat tends to be squishy. Not everyone's favorite, but some like it. I'm not looking for compromise. I want to taste that differentiates us from other restaurants. 
도서관이라고 들어봤어? Ever heard of the library? 그곳에 인간이 아닌 것들이 있다네. I heard m o n 아직은 도시계단 있지만 외곽이 아닌 곳에 아침을 보기 어떻게 힘들잖아. But monster meat is usually hard to get unless we travel all the way to the outskirts. Oh, oh now that's promising. 그렇지? Isn't it? 안 그래도 I got an invitation from that library some time ago. See? I'll surprise the gourmets with a dish that's so stimulating and novel. Could even rival the eight chefs themselves. So Jack, you can just count on me and follow my lead. Understand? What are we going to do with the ingredients I brought today, then? Turn them into jam. We're bottling them alive, so put them on drips of anesthetics and repressors and store them in the neater. Meat jam is nice. I knew you'd love it. Oh, and as I said before, you have to put them in legs first, not head first. You gotta keep them alive as long as possible, you know? Not as flavorful if they die too quickly. Cannibalism is a thing in the back streets, it seems. There are quite a few perverted maniacs who are into that, yeah? But it's kind of a taboo even in the back streets. Certainly can't go around saying how tasty human meat is. Actually, the wealthy folk consume human meat the most. However, the back streets of District 23 are an exception. People there only care about pursuing the ultimate flavor. We'll do anything for it. Each part of the back street seems to have its own set of characteristics. Mostly depends on the policy set by the nest and the wing. But most of the back streets are being neglected anyway. Is human meat particularly delicious or anything? Heck if I know. Never tried. Never wanna. Those guys are kidnapping ordinary people and cooking them right after. Gourmets seem to think that such cruelty only adds to the flavor. Even worse, they believe cooking people alive and making them suffer as much as possible is key to perfecting taste. Humans eating humans. What a sight to behold. Mm. Mm. This is a brand new smell. I don't think I like this scent. Now, Jack, it's unfamiliarity like this that brings forth new ideas, you see? You say so. I am doing ASMR. I am doing ASMR. This is what ASMR means. For me, it means just talking very calmly. Greetings, dear guests. I am Angela. The director and librarian of my role's namesake. Wow. Wow. What a wonderful looking ingredient. Such a glossy appearance. She certainly looks like a fresh, top grade ingredient on the outside. Pierre. Yeah, I know. She's unfortunately not human. But... That's why I'm even more excited. How do you taste? I'm afraid now you cannot do any harm to me. We never know until we try. Stay calm, Jack. We should keep our manners. He's the wonderful individual who's invited us here, you see. Uh... Oh, yeah. I apologize for my rudeness, ma'am. Now then, Miss Angela, may we enter now? May you find your book in this place. Happy and Roland get first dibs on this. There we go. That's some good progress for us, don't you think? Ah, <sighs> lovely. Lovely now, isn't it? Good staggers.
that's the damage. Beautiful damage. Lovely. Let's get in this back streets dash, shall we? Isn't that beautiful damage? Don't you agree, chat? It does not seem we are doing too well, all things considered. I would really like to end his life now. And Jack is gone. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. <sighs> they are all dead. You are all bloody dead. Oh, <laughs> what a bunch of nutcases. Just not to interact with the likes of them. At least, they were more well-mannered than you. Jack got that candlestick. Well, here's a word of wisdom for our still miss naive librarian. Echo! It's Miss! I don't have the ASMR anymore. I have a puppy dog here. There we go. There we go. Oh, you decide to redeem that just as I get the dog up on my lap, huh? Oh, fuck's sake. I love my hello girl. There's Popo. Popo. I can't drink while well, I have a dog on my lap. You'll have to fucking wait a moment. Oh, the fucking god. Ella? You don't have any respect for me in my chat. What's that? You want to leave me too? Hope you all enjoy whenever I accidentally punch the microphone. There we go. You need a polite and well-mannered person in the back streets. Run for your life. You're I'm not sure if that has anything to do with politeness. Here's another word of wisdom. Politics always exists in any given group of people, so there's no point in using any criteria to divide people into groups to see which is more insane. A load of bull. Oh, goddammit, it's for a second. Alright, he exists. How bad is the for a second murderer? Deal double stagger damage on successful attacks. All dice lose four power when the character has status effects. All right, so I don't have any status effect things, so that's a bad. This has been a bad idea. Five to seven every time. Yeah, I don't have anything really that good. Shouldn't I should just do this? Yeah, we lose. I need to update Yesa to have anything that deals status effects, and that's that's basically how we win. Looking for status effect stuff.
All right, that should help. Oh, and you have that thing. Seen to bleed. Yep, this really just wins at this point. Yep, any stagger now. Yeah, this was a pretty easy bin. Cool. There we go. File. <laughs> <laughs> I, hold up, 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 hold the fuck up. I'm gonna leave you on this screen while I go around to the restroom. Fuck this. So, alright. Clothes are still slovenly. Appreciate it, but it feels kind of awkward to be honest. Gratitude of the mind begins with a well connected body. I guess I should say thanks. What's your business this time? Oh, yeah. You guys aren't uh, seeing anything. You know what? This is all you need to see. There you go. Fixed. I need to move the chat uh, back over to where it normally is. Alright. We're from Malkath that the librarians here used to be here long ago. Is that true? It is. We all see some brawlers in your past life. Then, like the ring leaders of syndicates, my intuition has a fixer to summon me otherwise. My observation would be correct. None of us lived such a violent life. Save for a couple of exceptions, that is. How are you so skillful at dealing with guests, though? It's thankful thanks to the books. We gain the powers of the previous guests through their books. Oh, so that's why you guys seem to grow sort of stronger with every book I gave you. In the library, books have a source of power. Emotions can do the same. Through the books, we can imbue our own bodies with the sense and strength that one gave another's bodies. However, in the library, the library can amplify the emotions of its citizens, acts upon visitors and residents alike. Uh, these books are a lot more impressive than I thought. It might even be better than the surgeries and tools most workshops had to offer. Information is one thing, but this could be a real money maker. In secular terms, call the pathetically tearful survival instinct of a man who's lived most of his life in poverty, will ya? Doesn't his forward design really grind your gears? Don't mistake this for kindness. I do not particularly think highly of you. You're nothing more than Jell's little lapdog. But hey, that's rude. No, I didn't take this job by my choice. Does that necessarily exempt you from guiltiness, however? After you're done with your errands, kindly take your leave now. <laughs> yep, yes, I'd be in a bitch. So we got Yesod's assistant. <sighs> Jimmy specifically wanted to be on Yesod's floor, so we'll do that. Uh, I think you also DM'd me stuff, so let me see that. Alright, let's do this then. Uh, Those are often so unpopular with clients. I like Lulu! I really don't want to kill her. Her office is officially designated by the Zwei Association as an affiliate, too. The crime rate of territory secured by the Streetlight Office remains at a remarkable 0% as long as the contract is in effect. We only cover two blocks of space at most, though. We'll eventually get work if we wait. Yeah, sure, you can keep waiting for the rest of your life. I'm seriously considering moving to another office. Never thought you'd have what it takes to work for a bigger office. And like you, I have several business connections I made from experience, do you understand? Your mother must be too busy being a legendary fixer or whatever, while I have friends who can help me right away. Yeah, some great fixer you are. Yeah, yeah, why thanks, I know I'm great. Hey, you ate the cake in the fridge, didn't you? As I have worked for you. Sans Undertale. Fighting again, are you? 
the s- son of a bitch ate the cake without even asking me. The expiration date was yesterday, so I took care of it. That's all. It's my cake, and even if it's expired, I'll take care of it on my own. Lulu is such a good ger- character. Anyway, boss, how about that work? Don't change the topic. Hey, you another cake, so calm down for a moment, all right? That was a limited edition cake. I'm still rather skeptical about it, but I got this one from a friend of mine at the association. In the association fighter working directly under the Zwei? Yes, this area. The HANA Association has yet to consider this request as a subject that needs to be addressed officially. Have you heard of the library? Stories of it. We overheard rats talking about it. Said the books in that place have tremendous value or whatever. I see, I retrieved an invitation to that library from my friend I just mentioned. We might not get much payment from this request if it's off the record. And it won't count towards our official career either. Such as it is, the association is trying to remain cautious about it. Are we really going to walk right into a place we know nothing about? She did promise to see to it that if we're rewarded with pay comparable to an urban legend class request if everything goes down well. Hmm. Surely it was a bad idea after all, don't you think? Let's do this. Yes, we have no choice. It's still too uncertain, but we need that money. We haven't been too busy lately. Thanks, everyone. We'll get through this like we always have. Why, Hana? We're talking about associations of fixers. It takes more than just setting up an office to jump into the fixer business. There are a total of 12 fixer associations across the city, each in charge of different types of work. Cases and requests are all sorted according to the type and sent to one of those associations. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. And sometimes the association might send documents to multiple offices at once, who directly have associate fixers take care of their work. That's right, sometimes the association might send documents to multiple offices at once, directly have associate fixers take care of the work. Among them, the Han Association is an overall control of all fixers. They grade fixers and authorize offices and stuff. The offices have grades as well. Essentially, the requests sent out by the associations are graded too. They really love to grade things, don't they? Easier to know that way. Know what? How valuable I am as a person. Think about it. Who in the city could claim this is my worth with confidence? Everyone's busy minding their own business. No one is going to lounge around having deep conversations about each other's values. Knowing each other's grades and affiliations, on the other hand, can save a ton of words. You can tell if you're above or below the person you're talking to right away. Sounds like people stop trying to learn or think about it at some point. That you won't say the same once you experience city life for a bit. You have to interact with so many people out there, whether you want to or not. People have been looking for ways to adapt to the city, and this is just one of them. Yes, we really are desperate to think that we'd take on a job like this. Stop complaining, we should be glad to have work at all. I know, do you really have to point that out the, out the obvious? No, no, cool, do down, guys. Can't tell if you're best friends or worst enemies. Excuse me, please don't associate me with this group. I certainly don't want that either. Alright, alright, let's have a feast at Julie's restaurant once this is over. The tab's on me. Yeah, greetings, Nintendo Switch. Seem to be well acquainted with each other. Who are you? Prepare yourselves. There's no need to be so wary. Your ordeal is not started yet. I'm Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Nice to meet you. I'm a son from the director's from the street life office. You were brought here by invitation. There's something I'd like to ask about it. What is it? I actually retrieved this invitation from another person, not directly from you. Are we still eligible? Yes, indeed. The invitation eventually reached you, dear guest, and you signed your name with your own will. Everything has worked as intended. I see. May you find your book in this place. She was a nicer person than I thought. Did that look like a human to you? I mean, she did have the shape of a person, but something about her didn't feel right. Well, I can't exactly put it to words. She probably is a machine. Didn't expect to see a machine that's so similar to a human being. Let's focus on our work. Once again, you must back off as soon as you feel that you're in danger. How about mugging abnormalities for their cosplays? Very small chance that we get overpowered there. Alright, cool. Ow.
We'll do this. Hmm. Alright. Nothing really out of that one. Got a stagger there. Alright, then you got hit. Alright, you are taking the brunt of this then. I don't want you enhancing those dies and dealing a shit ton of damage. Um, you have 9 HP. There we go. And that's just a death. All right. I always feel so bad for them. All right. This is basically goodbye, friend. There we go. <laughs> They're still rookies. Not a good idea for fixers to form such tight bonds with each other. Well, I guess this will be a lesson for them. Talk as if you're used to all this. Oh, I've already grown past that phase and some more too. Forming bonds aren't bad per se, but there's just too much risk associated with it. Real deal fixers know when to cut things off. You mean to keep enough distance from people so that you won't feel hurt from their losses? Yep. It's just ironic that people who aren't even mentally prepared to face death are applying for a job that involves killing in the first place. Literature hot? Hey, we get hot! This must be the most unfitting category for the city. Hello, I'm Hod. In charge of the floor of literature. Hey, I'm Mullen, helper of Angela in several ways. I see. Don't tell me, do you also have to hold some sort of grudge against Angela? I'm not all friendly towards her, that's for certain. But we made a deal with her, so we're obliged to help her without complaint. Oh boy, the future ain't looking too bright. Everyone's got a problem with Angela. What the heck did she do to deserve this reputation? She's done something unforgivable, just like I did in the past. I still don't know a whole lot about this place, but I can see one thing. Something's terribly messed up with the library and its staff. Can all this even be resolved at some point? Can't answer that for sure, but you'll get to see the result. After all, this is a clear end to this deal. If you follow Angela along her journey to the end, you will find out. Frustrating already. I have guests to receive and librarians to take care of. Can we all be good friends in the library at least? Among the books you bring, I will be sorting those about the literature of the city. If you collect more books, you might be able to find answers to your questions, whether you like it or not. Uh, finally starting to get why Angela hates around about speech so much. Alright, fine. I'm gonna dig into the bottom of this mystery now that I've gotten into this mess. Good luck, Mr. Roland. I thank you for your support of words, Miss Hod.